I just had a thought that you are the primary ingredient of your life. Everybody's lives are different, but it's because of what they do and the choices that they make that shapes their life. Now, God is in control of everything. We make choices, and our choices are what put us in positions that shouldn't have been in or are fortunate to be in. Basically, this is, this is how I see it, all right? Think of your apartment. You're so happy that you have your apartment. You're so happy that, have, that you have your bed. You're so happy that you have your computer, your laptop, your shower, your sink, your um, your TV, your, um, your cell phone. I'm on my cell phone right now. Um, your car, your job, all of these things, right? Now, here's where it gets here. Here's where it gets interesting. Take you out of the mix. Your house is still there. You know, um, your car is still there. Your laptop is still there. Your phone is still there. Your sink and your shower is still there. Um, you know, even your job. Your job is still there, but you're not. So. Things don't cease to exist because you don't have them, and they didn't become. They didn't come into creation um, just because you wanted them. They've been there, or they got created whenever they got created. It has nothing to do with you. The thing I want to say is that you're the primary. When I say you're the primary ingredient of your life, is that those things are in existence and you utilize them. You utilize your bed to sleep in. You don't need it right now when you're out and about, but it's there when you come back to go to sleep. If you didn't have it, you'd probably still sleep, be sleeping, stand up, standing up somewhere. You don't want to do that. Think about your cell phone. If you didn't have it, you wouldn't be able to make any calls. But it's a standalone, inanimate object. You're the animate. You're the animate object. You're the, I wouldn't say life force, but you're what make, you're what utilizes it. You're who utilizes it. It's just a difference between the things that we own and what we do. We are not the things that we own. I am not my car. Okay? I, that means I can have any type of car. I'm not my car, so I shouldn't be seeking to get the best, most expensive type of car out there just to have it be inanimate. And when I get out of it, it's like any other car. I'm, it's not with me. So in my mind, why would I put all of my effort into getting the most expensive one? As long as it runs, it's reliable, it's safe, efficient, and um, well maintained. Shouldn't matter what kind of car I have. I want it to look good, all right. But that shouldn't cost a thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand dollars more. Um, that goes for anything: cell phone, laptop, um, house. As long as it's functional and it's maintained and it's clean. And it serves its purpose. It shouldn't matter the price tag. The real money should go into, and this is just in my opinion, you can take it, ball it my opinion up on your ball it up and put it on the tip of your foot, kick it down the street. But my in my opinion, the your real money should go to benefiting others, benefiting your family, benefiting charitable, um, charitable causes. After you take care of yourself and your family, and that, that haze or that light was in the way. After you take care of yourself and your family, it is your community that you owe your money to. Not your car, not your brand new cell phone, not your not an, another brand new house. You know, as long as you have 
you together as long as you have your essentials together everything else should be for someone else's essentials just think about that you might be able to do the world some good instead of getting the most expensive this and the most expensive that be the primary ingredient in your life don't be your possessions just something to think about take care love and work